out every line. So we're going to go ahead and start the survey. So as we go along, we're getting our distance of the run, how much rise we're having, our elevation, and grade. So if you look right now, we've done 84 feet. We're up almost a foot from where we started. Have about a 1% grade. So this is basically just setting up so the tile line is going to run at the exact depth that's needed. This is what we're doing right now is taking an elevation map and okay. the topography so we know how much rise we have from start to finish so we can put our parameters in and let us know if we can fill water or not. So we're done with our run. This is going to be 309 feet. We're 4.3 feet higher than where we started and have a 1.38% grade. We're going to stop the survey and go back to start. So we're going to find our line. So we're the tractor. The red highlight is the line that we're selecting. Check over. Here we're going to put our parameters in. We're shooting for a 3% grade. Minimum depth of 28 inches. A max of 37 and we're targeting 34 inches so we have a green check that means it's going to be able to flow water so now we're going to proceed to the install and then right now we have to get the plow down at least 29 inches before we can get the green install button so if we go ahead and level it drop it into the ground At 30 inches, we're past our 29 inch minimum install depth. Now we can go ahead and gives us the green light for install. So now what if I've got an operator that isn't familiar with, with the program? Is there any way that you know we can avoid any errors being made or it's pretty much a self we call it tiling for dummies. Okay. <laughs> system. I mean if we're not below the 29 inches. If we raise it up a little bit, it takes our install button away. So in back when we we're putting our parameters in, if it's can't flow water, it's just not gonna let you go. Okay. That was like where you had like the min and max depth that you can do? Correct. Okay. Sweet, very good information. Yeah, you know.